This is the newest mountain bike wireless shifting, the EDS OX 2.0. Let's check it out. EDS on the front of the box right there stands for Electronic Derailleur System OX. This is the mountain bike version. You can see the graphics right there on the box, kind of showing you just a little bit of what this thing's gonna look like. On the back, you can see this is made by Wheeltop. You get the little QR code there to download the app that's good for Apple or Android phones. Got all the pictograms across the bottom letting you know this thing is safe and compliance. On the side of the box right here, See if we can focus in on that. There you go, on the side of the box right there, you can see that it is the EDS OX M6701 SGS with the 93 length on the cage for that 12 speed drivetrain, but enough talking about the stuff on the outside of the box. Let's get this thing opened up and see what's inside. Open it up, you can see this little foam on the top right here, keeping this thing nice and protected, packaged, all good. I'll use that to kind of set the parts and pieces out on actually. Got this additional little sheet right here, talks about the adjustments and basically setting it up step one through step four right there. And it gives you a couple more pictograms letting you know, you know where to download the app and get additional information like the manuals and stuff for this. And there you go inside the box. Pretty simple. You can see that we got the derailleur right there. We got the shifter and the cable. And that's all you really need. Oh man, this thing looks so good, you guys. Let's just give you a comparison real quick. This is the 1.0, the original EDS. Performed really good, but was a little bit bulky. And look at that new one. Just side by side real quick. Look at how much sleeker that new one looks. We'll do a comparison a little bit later in this video and in future videos, we're definitely gonna do a little bit closer comparison on the 1.0 versus the 2.0. But right now, it's all about this 2.0. Let's see something real quick. Is this thing, is it already paired up and ready to start shifting? Uh-oh. It's not shifting. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing charged up. Let's, let's just show you real quick where the charging is on this. On the back right there, you got that opens up and you got this little magnetic spot that the charger just kind of hooks right into. And then you can, you know, charge it when it's on your bike. Doesn't have a removable battery, so that is the one knock, but it's got this nice long charging cable right here. We're gonna get this thing plugged in, charged up, and then once it's all charged up, we'll continue and go over the video because I want you guys to see it shift, right? You wanna see it shift in the video? Of course you do. Got that thing charging up. You can see the little red light right there. So we'll go ahead and get this thing all topped off and then we'll come back out, get this thing shifting and continue the video. All right, the light is off. That was one hour. So I set my watch for one hour, came out, this thing was fully charged in that time. Let's see if this thing is paired up now. Oh, there we go. We got it, folks. She's alive. It's the little things, right? Electronic shifting, love that sound. All right, now with that button right there, you can do single shifting or you can hold it down and just rapid shift. So while I was waiting for that thing to charge up, I had some time to go ahead and download the manual and download the app. Um, the app is actually the same exact app that um, I was using on my uh, wheel top. EDS uh, 1.0 version. So let's go ahead and get this device added in the app. I'm gonna try and do this upside down so you guys can kind of watch. Right there, searching for it. And let's see, EDS 2.0 right up there at the top. I'm gonna flip this back around. That's getting a little bit difficult to do upside down. Naming the device, please name it. What do you guys think I should name this? We're just gonna go with the generic EDS. 2.0. 
Should I have named it something different? You guys leave a comment down below if you want, want me to rename this something different and I'll go ahead and swap it out. But for right now, EDS 2.0 is what we're naming it. And in this app right here, it's gonna give me all the settings I need to get this derailleur fine-tuned, set up, shifting perfect on my bike. Also, they have what they call a race mode in here where you can you know, change it to make this derailleur shift just a little bit more powerful, a little bit faster. Probably takes a little bit more battery as well, but you better believe we'll be putting that to the test. 1.0 versus 2.0 shifting battle. All right, let's get them all the way down. All right, ready? 2.0 is just a little bit faster on the way up. Let's go back down. About the same speed on the way back down. But, you know, either way, both of them shifting good. 2.0's got that advantage though. Woo, there you go. That increased shifting performance talking about. Plus remember that this right now is in normal mode. If I kick it into that race mode, let's try and kick it into the race mode real quick. All right, you can see right there on the app, on the top it's in casual mode. Let's go ahead and click that. We're gonna go into racing mode. Okay, let's see, what is it saying right there? It's saying competition mode switch. In this mode, the power consumption of the device will increase. Please switch back to leisure mode in time after use. Switch. Race mode, it goes red right there for the race mode. All right, race mode shifting test. Let's see how much faster it's shifting. Is it, oh, that, that sounds faster. Okay, let's do another race. Dang, it's shifting down faster. Way faster. Dang, so some definite increased shifting performance on the 2.0 right there in race mode. I'm liking that. I'm wondering though, on that race mode, if it's gonna um, make it have any issues like shifting up and down the cassette. Like I wonder how much more you're gonna have to really be careful to fine tune your shifting to make sure that it, when it's going that fast, that it's not kind of tearing up your cassette in the back. Now one of the coolest features about the EDS system is that it's programmable from three all the way up to 14 speeds. And what that means is that yes, of course it's gonna work for 12 speed drivetrains, but even if you have like an 11 speed drivetrain, 10 speed, eight speed, like it's gonna work for all of those. This thing's compatible, you know, with any kind of derailleur hanger. So whether you have the UDH or something different like I have on some of my bikes, you're gonna be able to run this on your bike and you can use this whether you have Shimano, SRAM, basically any kind of drivetrain. So this really opens up wireless shifting to so many more riders out there. Now this new 2.0 version of the wireless derailleur provides you with the same 800 milliamp hour battery that's gonna give you up to 20,000 shifts, which means this thing will literally last for months before you have to worry about recharging it. The uh, whole system right here is completely waterproof, so you're not gonna have to worry about taking out in the weather. However, the upgrades on this 2.0 is the fact that this thing, first of all, has a lot sleeker design. They say it's a little bit more aerodynamic, if you care about that. I'm more of a downhill, like gravity-focused enduro smasher, so don't care that much about aerodynamics, but I sure like the way it looks. Looks a lot sleeker, looks a lot cleaner. Also, other features is that it's supposed to have more precise shifting. Like I said, it has that race mode and just some improved shifting on it. Um, another cool feature that this, this thing has is that you can hook it up, Bluetooth remote it up to your bike computer if you're a person that likes to track your like your performance and your stats and your training. So you got that going for you. And at the time of filming this, you guys, this thing, it's, it's technically not available yet, but it's on pre-order right now, $369. So I think that's like $190 off, which I mean, that's not cheap, but pretty damn good deal when you compare that to something like a SRAM Access. There is one thing that I don't like about this though, is that the shifter, the shifter, they didn't really upgrade. Here goes the original one, the 1.0, and you can see right there the 2.0, same exact shifter. It, it works good, but does it look good? I don't know, what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think about the looks of this? I can tell you the way it feels 
is I, I love how much those buttons kind of stick out. It's really easy to kind of find it when you're going and grabbing for, you know, one of the triggers to be able to shift up and down. And that is one thing I've, you know, had problems with, with like the SRAM access or something in the past is not liking the way the shifter feels on my thumb. So it definitely feels good, but maybe it doesn't look that good. But the real question is, how does this thing perform out on the trails? So in future videos, I'm gonna be getting this thing installed on the bike and then taking it out for those rides, getting a real ride and review, some beat down tests, let you know how this thing performs. So definitely now is a good time to like, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for those future videos. And for those of you that have made it this far, I got a little something special for you right now. I'm actually not gonna be installing it on my Polygon N9. The Polygon N9 is gonna get the EDS 1.0 on it. But for the EDS 2.0, I got a brand new bike build, you guys, I'm gonna be doing for the channel. I'm gonna be doing a frame up, complete like dream bike build with this wireless drivetrain on it. Definitely stay tuned for that. Like I said, subscribe to the channel, leave those comments down below. But at the end of the day, you guys, it's not about me and what I'm doing. It's all about getting you guys stoked to go ride and have fun. So let me know if there's anything else you guys wanna know, anything I missed, any questions you got or comments. See you guys next time.